So on three made a list of the top 10 safety groups in the NCAA for the upcoming season of 2024. And Oklahoma ain't included. Shocking, ain't it? I don't understand these lists. I, I'm going to talk about this. I, I'm going to talk about this and much more on this episode of Sooner Legends Podcast. Well, welcome to this episode of Sooner Legends Podcast. I'm your host, Mike the Legend. And if you're new to the channel and to the family, hop down and hit that red subscriber button and turn on your post notification bells. And a quick note, if you're watching this video, if you notice in the right hand corner, you will see a watermark subscribe button. Just hover your pointer over that and click subscribe and you won't have to jump out of the video. Could you give me a like and could you comment on the video? Are you upset as I am with the with on three and how they they uh, snubbed Oklahoma again? Because I and also could you share the video because sharing is caring. Well, there it's been talked about. PG and J put out a video about it this morning, so I thought I'd follow suit and give my two cents on it. On3 put out a list here a couple of weeks ago about the top 10 safety groups by school in it for the upcoming 2024 season, and Oklahoma isn't nowhere on it. I don't, I can't for the life of me figure out why, but here it is. Iowa, Ohio State, Georgia, Notre Dame, Penn State, USC, Iowa State, Oregon, Alabama, and Texas. Now, USC on this list is, is mind-boggling within itself because y'all seen USC last year get torched with that crappy defense. Heck, Oklahoma needs to be on at least number six. I mean, we got Billy Bowman returning, Peyton Bowen. We got Robert Spears Jennings. Reggie Powers III, Jaden Hardy, Eric McCarty, Woody Washington, Des Malone, Gentry Williams. And hell, Billy Bowman, we all seen him last year. 63 total tackles, 6 TFLs, 6 interceptions, 4 pass breakups, and some pick sixes. And it started last year. Billy Bowman getting snubbed for the Jim Thorpe Award. At the very least, he should have been a finalist. At the very bare minimum. And in my mind, he should have won, won the doggone award. And this is the deepest and best safety position group that that is probably being fielded since the Bob Stoops era. And I don't understand it. Help it help it make sense. I mean, if you look at Woody Washington, 48 tackles, one INT, and one forced fumble. Des Malone, 47 tackles, one INT and, and a forced fumble. Gentry Williams, three INTs, 30 tackles and four TFLs. And PFF wants to, wants to dock them for uh, missed tackles and everything. Guys, don't pay no attention to these lists. This is just adding fuel to Oklahoma's fire for being snubbed. Iowa being number one. That one, to me, in my opinion, Georgia had the, had the best secondary last year, in my opinion. But I digress on that. And Texas, they're replacing a lot of their secondaries through the transfer, transfer portal. And they're probably going off plug and play. Well, the D.C. down at Texas, from what I heard, has a pretty complicated scheme within itself. So how in, in the world, when you've got unproven 
safeties going into 2024 that you want to put Texas over Oklahoma when our safeties and our defensive backs are proven? It's unbiased. I'm, you know, it, it's to the point now I'm tired of the unbiased stuff that's going on with Oklahoma. But heck, I've been dealing with this since before the internet from the 70s through the 80s, which we had newspapers and news back then. And still yet, they did the same thing to us back then. All they're doing is waking up a sleeping giant. All they're doing. And I guarantee you, a few on these lists is probably going to be sucking hind tit this year. Now, USC got a new D.C. coordinator, a defensive coordinator. Whoop-de-doo dingle. You still got Benny Wiley, the yoga instructor, as a strength and conditioning coach. Wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. And Iowa State. Why are they even on that list? I'm telling you, the hate, the hate's running deep. I mean, even in the recruiting, the on three recruiting, Oklahoma right now is sitting number one in the SEC as of right now, and yet we're they got us ranked below everybody else on the recruiting rankings. So, this is going to be a year where we're playing with the chip on our shoulder. Everybody in the media is doubting us. Do y'all remember 2000? We, could, we, couldn't, we couldn't buy a good comment from anybody in the media in 2000. And we went through Red October, Texas, Kansas State, and Nebraska and beat all three of them. We really didn't start getting recognition and and the respect we deserved until we beat Florida State for the national championship. And this is shaping up to be the same way. I'm reading the tea leaves. I'm looking at the stars, and everything is lining up. So y'all hop down in the comments. Tell me what you think. Give Give me your opinion on this on three list, which I think is a bunch of BS, bias, just a bunch of junk, if you want my opinion. Y'all hop down in the comments, tell me what you think. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out. This is the legend. We'll see you on the backside. God bless and boomer freaking sooner.